Hey, what's going on, guys? As you can see, sitting here in a hospital bed, definitely not my favorite place to hang out, but hey, you know what? I'm making the most of it. So for those of you that haven't seen the updates I posted on the Instagram or my Instagram page or uh, the YouTube community tab, basically what is going on is I'll be stuck in a hospital for a bit. Kind of, you know, unfortunate, but, you know, it's what, what life throws at you at times. So to give you a update here, or kind of a rundown of the whole story, about I started feeling really bad about two weeks ago, and uh, you know just having difficulty. Well, first off, I've been in the hospital for a week and a day now since last Monday, and uh, so prior to that, for about a week, I wasn't feeling too good. You know, I was having trouble swallowing having trouble drinking water, um, breathing. My uh, esophagus was tightened up. I was having a little bit of a cough and just too many symptoms to simply to simply ignore. And I actually went to the doctor a couple weeks prior to that because of, uh, you know, just tightness in my throat. And I feel like I've been on top of this really, really good. But unfortunately, how it works is you got to have serious symptoms and I'm going to take you seriously. So long story short, came into the, the doctor on Monday, this past Monday, and they said, we can't do anything. You got to go to the ER. You're in too rough a shape. Because at that point, I was having trouble eating, having trouble drinking water, and just not not in a good place physically. So I went, or, went over the ER, did a blood draw, did a CT scan, and they came back and said, yeah, we found some stuff. You know, not good news, but you know what? I'll, uh, I needed the answers, and that's what I got, and that's where I'm at right now. So what I have is called acute T-cell lymphoblastic leukemia. So it's a form of cancer in the blood, and the most simplest way I can describe it is it is a uh, – I don't even know if I had this completely right. I honestly need, need to do my own research and educate myself on it more. But you have blood cells and um, a cell in the blood called a T cell produces at a constant or a uh, certain rate. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm probably butchering completely. But anyways, this T cell decided to malfunction and just go crazy and create a tumor and that tumor is located near my heart. So not a good um, not a good place for a tumor to be. And so the body's reaction to that was to um, start producing a lot of fluid around the heart to protect it from that tumor. And so I ended up with a bunch of fluid in my whole, my whole torso, around my chest, around my lungs, around my stomach, around my throat, and so every single one of those organs was affected. I had a really tight throat, you know, like I was explaining earlier, having trouble breathing because of my lungs, couldn't eat anything, couldn't digest anything, and uh, having shortness of breath and just lots of chest pain. And then I was having some nerve issues too in my shoulder, my chest, my one side of my chest and my back as well. So it was, um, two and a half liters of fluid. So imagine a two and a half liter uh, pop bottle and all that pressure inside of a inside of your whole uh, chest and your whole uh, your whole core. So um, that was putting pressure on my esophagus, so I couldn't breathe, having trouble drinking and eating, putting pressure on my stomach, putting pressure on my lungs. And the biggest thing was my heart. My heart had was under really, really intense pressure, um, a lot of chest pain, and uh, just, yeah, a multitude of symptoms. And actually, three days before I went into the doctor, I obviously wasn't feeling too good, but, you know, I was like, I know something major is going on. I'm going to go out. I'm going to enjoy my life, still live it, you know, as I like. And I went riding at the track some buddies and you know I wasn't not feeling very good but I'm like you know I'm just gonna go and ride anyways have fun enjoy the day I did I had a ton of fun but 
I could tell things were not right. Like I would do two laps and my chest would just be pounding my, you know, heart, heart would be pounding my chest and lungs would be uh, just really struggling and everything was just not going too good. So all this kind of started slowly picking up steam and then, you know, hit a breaking point and here I'm at, here, you know, now here I am. So, uh, you know what, it is, it is what it is. I'm dealing with it. It's actually been kind of a fun, fun experience, honestly, just, you know, taking some time off, learning more about my body, learning more about, you know, life. You know, this is a good opportunity, opportunity for me to grow and become stronger. It's like a test to my strength. And um, in the end, I'll be, I'll be better for sure. And I'm excited to get back and start kicking some butt. So here's what it kind of looks like from here on out. I've been in here for a week now. They've been going through testing. They've been, you know, checking, you know, extended everything. They've done a lot of uh, procedures, whatnot, everything to make sure the cancer hasn't grown to, you know, parts of the, the body where you don't want it to be like spinal fluid, brain, um, you know, obviously prostate cancer would not be good, you know, just other organs in the body. So we've been getting all that sorted out. Everything looks pretty good. All the organs look great at this point. Now it's just a matter of going through the chemotherapy process. And what that's going to do is kill off all the cancer in the body and kill off a lot more as well, unfortunately. So the chemotherapy process kills off uh, lots of blood cells and the bone marrow. And so at some point, I'm going to have to go find a blood marrow or a blood cell donor, blood marrow donor and uh, get a transplant. So, so I actually made a good amount of progress on chemotherapy so far. Then um, through, let's see, five or six sessions, throughout a couple of days, my body's responding to it really well. Haven't really had a ton of side effects, although, although those are coming later down the road, you know, like loss of hair, loss of nails. So, yeah, it is what it is. Um, yeah, where we sit. Um, quite the process, and I'll be I'm sure I'll be out of work, out of commission, I should say, for who knows how long, weeks, months. Don't, not really sure yet. Just uh, playing it day by day, seeing what happens, keeping a smile on my face, just. Trying to do as much as I can each and every day to get better, focus on myself, getting in, getting my health back, and uh, being around my family and friends and and all that. And that's actually been really positive. Too. Been able to see a lot of family I haven't you know seen in a while. A lot of friends have been coming through. Had just a tremendous amount of support so far from those around me, and then. Obviously online too, that's been huge. Um, the thing about something like this is it is insanely expensive to go through a process like this. You know, I do have I do have health coverage and many times you don't know what's gonna be covered until they actually pay the bill. And uh, so you can't really guarantee you you know, I got a deductible and then past that's covered. I can't really, you know, say how much is actually going to be covered and not whatnot. So that's kind of a stressor on top of it. I don't really want to worry about it right now simply because I need to focus on getting my health back to 100% and getting back to uh, living my living my daily life and doing the things that I love. So um, the financial side of it is tough because there's so many uncertainties. Um, and and those around me are taking time off of their busy schedule to help me out and make sure that, you know, I'm in the best care possible. So, um, yeah, we're trying to figure that side of it out. And one thing I've come up with here, try to help out or try to allow for you guys to get in on the action. I know you guys want to support, you know, and they get a lot of messages on how, 
you guys can support me through this process other than just you know already what you guys done has been incredible so, you know sending uh, nice messages on social media and sending letters and sending things in the mail and uh, just really really appreciate all that so far but of course you know the financial side of things just that is going to be a big big deal in this whole you know cancer process too so a lot of people are saying go start a GoFundMe. I'm not really a big fan of them simply because a GoFundMe is like, I just don't feel good taking money and not giving anything in return. You know, obviously I've provided videos and lots of content for you guys, helped you guys out a lot, but at the same time, you send over, you know, money to help me and I'm not giving anything in return right then and there. And uh, so I am not going to do GoFundMe. I have came up with a couple other ideas here, what I'm going to do, and good, fun way for me to still be involved with you guys and you guys be involved in the process as well. You know, hopefully raise some money, hopefully uh, just bring everyone closer together and get all this handled, get back to doing what I love, and then just forget about it. So uh, the first thing is, if you guys remember right, that carburetor from the CRT50, the one that I went through with Cerakoted, did uh, some aluminum polishing on the float bowl and the, the, the uh, throttle cap. That one uh, just turned out insane. I love that carburetor. Anyways, that carburetor, I am not going to use it on that build. And for those of you wondering, I'm still, still building the CRT50 as soon as they get back. I'm going to put that thing together, continue on with the build. So that's nothing's changing there. Nothing's changing with, you know, the channel. Hopefully not, you know, it, it, you just never know the finances and stuff. But anyways, the uh, carburetor, I am not going to be using that carburetor. I have an electron carb. And so what I'm going to do is a raffle. And so $1 buy-in or $1 raffle ticket gets you one entry into winning that carburetor. And then I'm also gonna pick three other winners throughout. And you can go pick a hat, a t-shirt, something off the store, the Prime MX store. And uh, so just a little way of giving back for you guys, you know, helping me out. So, um, and you know, who would like to have a trick carburetor to throw on, you know, it's still a fully functioning carburetor. You can put it on a bike make it look super cool or you can just throw it on your desk and you have a nice conversation piece and if you want it signed I can do that too so uh, that is what I've got going on here the carburetor you can buy in a raffle ticket at one dollar you can buy you know more than one raffle ticket obviously your chances go up but the whole goal here is to just use all these proceeds towards my medical bills. You know, I have no clue what they're going to be. Um, it could be trick. I, you know, I don't even like thinking about the numbers, you know, upwards of a quarter million. It could be way less than that. Like I said, I do have insurance. You never know what it is, what the final bill is going to be until it's all paid and done for. So, um, or I never know what my portion of the bill is going to be. So, that's kind of where I'm at right now, focused on getting better, and I will keep you guys updated. But for right now, that giveaway or that giveaway, the raffle, is uh, up on the Prime Max website. So you can go on there, just like you're, you know, buying some stickers and or buying a hat or buying a T-shirt. And while you're at it, while you're over there, you know, grab some stuff over there too. That's Another way to support support the channel and you know support uh, what I'm going through right here. So I'll have the link first one down in the description box. So you click that link, you buy your raffle ticket, and on Saturday night, let's see here, Saturday night at midnight. That's when that raffle is going to close. And then shortly after that, I'm going to go through and do a live stream to pick the winner. 
go through and do that. You know, pick the winners for the other three. You know, have three additional winners for a hat, a t-shirt, stickers, whatever. You know, some stuff you want off the store. And um, just kind of go from there. So starting right now, with, once this video is up, this raffle is live. You know, tell your friends about it. Tell your, you know, whoever about it. Share. Just share it. Please share it. You know, and uh, one dollar raffle ticket. You know, you might end up with a sweet carburetor. So let's we'll see what happens, guys. Appreciate all the support. I will keep you guys updated as much as I can. Going through a lot right now, but uh, I'm excited for the future and and uh, just in a really good spot right now. I feel like you know this is all meant to happen for a reason and. It's only going to make me better. So once again, thanks a bunch, guys, and I will be checking in with you soon. Take care.